Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to roll out their latest Windows 11 optional bug fix update, KB5014668, which started rolling out on the 23rd of June 2022. Now, the optional updates that roll out near the end of every month are also known as C-release updates. And as many of you know, they are optional, so you do not have to install the updates. And if you don't uh, decide to install the update now, most of the fixes, improvements, and add-ons will be carried over into the next month Patch Tuesday compulsory automatic cumulative update, which will roll out on the second Tuesday of next month, July 2022. Now, there are five new features that have rolled out with KB5014668, although it is a bug fix update. And the key highlight here, according to Microsoft and the release notes, is that they have in introduced search highlights which is now becoming more widely available for Windows 11 users. And I was actually surprised to see that I received the new feature um, after applying the update, and I wasn't expecting to see it roll out in my region so soon. But nonetheless, uh, Microsoft say that search highlights will roll out to Windows 11 users over the next uh, several weeks, and that they are taking a phased and measured approach. So it's basically on a controlled staggered rollout, and broad availability will occur in the coming months. So if you have installed the update and don't see the new feature, um, you'll have to be patient as you will get it over the next several weeks and months. Now, I have posted on the feature when it rolled out to Windows 10, but just to do a quick recap, according to Microsoft, search highlights will present notable and interesting moments of what's special about each day, like holidays, anniversaries, and other educational moments in time, both, both globally and in your region, and you also get trending searches. And for enterprise uh, customers, search highlights will also feature the latest updates from your organization and suggest people, files, and more. And my search highlight for today in my region on the 24th of June um, is, and I hope I pronounce this right, C Notes in Mexico. And if you click on that, um, that link, it'll take you over uh, to the Microsoft Edge browser um, where you can just do some more research on the highlight online. And then also on the left-hand side, you will get your most recently used apps and this will change regularly to suggested apps. So on a regular basis, you will see uh, your recent apps and then it will change to suggested apps um, from time to time. And then you can obviously access that by clicking on the search button and icon in your taskbar. Now, this is a bug fix. And just to mention the uh, key fixes that have rolled out with this uh, latest update, 5014668, there was an issue that might prevent um, users from upgrading to Windows 11. That's the original release, version 21H2. That's been uh, addressed. Um, addresses an issue that might prevent users from playing video clips in some games. That's been fixed. There was an issue that caused certain games to stop working if they um, were used using, uh, used using certain audio technology to play sound effects. That's been addressed. Um, there was an issue that prevented Bluetooth from reconnecting to some audio devices after restarting the device. That's been fixed. Um, the Your Phone app, which was recently changed to Phone Link, um, the name of the Your Phone app um, has been changed to Phone Link now finally on the settings page. And there was an issue that caused the Microsoft Surface Dial customization settings page to stop working. That's also been fixed. And the last key bug fix um, highlight, um, and this is actually a key uh, bug fix um, that's been made available with this latest update, as I have posted on this previously. They've addressed a known issue that might prevent you from using the Wi-Fi hotspot feature, and that was a, a, a issue that was plaguing um, some users where they were not able to access their, access their Wi-Fi hotspot feature on Windows 11. So that has finally, be, finally been addressed. So if you are experiencing that issue, then make sure you install the update. Now, as mentioned, the update is optional and will uh, roll out um, through Windows Update. And um, as mentioned, you don't have to install the update. And I always suggest with these optional bug fix updates, only install the update if you are having any issues on your system, else just leave the update alone. Um, but obviously, the new search highlights might tempt you to install the update anyway. Now, if you do decide to install the update, you will have to restart your device. And um, just for interest's sakes, it will be listed under Quality Updates, Cumulative Update for Windows 11, KB5014668. And you can click on the Learn More link to take you to the release notes if you are interested to get some more information. Now, as mentioned, it is a bug fix update. And just to mention those other um, new... Um, add-ons and features 
Um, I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, it adds IP address auditing for incoming Windows Remote Management connections in Security Event 4262 and WinRM Event 91. Adds Server Message Block Redirector Specific Public File System Controls. Um, makes the SMB Client and SMB Server Cypher Suite order configurable using PowerShell. I've mentioned the search highlights and the last new add-on and feature Add support for transport layer security, that's TLS for short, 1.3 in Windows client and server lightweight directory access protocol implementations. Now that's quite a mouthful, but those are the new um, add-ons and features over and above the new search highlights feature. Now, if you are interested, I'm just going to uh, mention some of the uh, other bug fixes as there are numerous fixes that have rolled out and one or two of these might apply to you. Um, there was an issue where the Japanese characters were displayed incorrectly in the PowerShell. That's been fixed. Uh, there was an issue that affected the cloud clipboard service and prevented syncing between machines after a peri period of inactivity. That's been fixed. Addresses an issue that fails to hide the Windows Sandbox startup screen after Sandbox starts to run. That's been addressed. And two more to go. Um, sorry, three more to go. They've addressed an issue that might cause playback of consecutive video clips to fail in games that use DirectX 12. So if you are a gamer, that might apply to you. Um, an issue that prevented Bluetooth from reconnecting to some audio devices um, after you restart the device. That's been addressed. And actually, I mentioned that one earlier on. That's a key highlight. And then the last one, and this one is, um, I'm very excited about this one, I must be honest as I've been waiting for this improvement to roll out to Windows 11 now for quite some time. And the right-click context menu for the Start menu, if you right-click on the Start menu, if you had Windows Terminal installed, which is installed by default on Windows 11, you would see Windows Terminal listed here. Now, you can uninstall Windows Terminal from uh, the Windows 11 operating system like I did, but um, up until now, you still saw Windows Terminal here listed. Uh, in the right click context menu and when you clicked on that it would just cause an error and you would have to click ok to bypass the error now finally um, in the right click um, context menu for the start menu they have now replaced windows terminal if you have uninstalled it like i have finally they have replaced that with powershell which i'm very happy to see um, as i do use powershell on a regular basis and not windows terminal so I'm quite happy to see that improvement roll out with KB5014668. And if you have installed the update, uh, the um, build now for Windows 11 version 21H2 will be bumped up to OS build 22,000.778. And that's more or less what's new and, what's and what has rolled out in this latest optional update, KB5014668, and that key feature update now being the new search highlights which is becoming more widely available so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one